What do you guys think is the scariest part of our planet? There's only one right answer, and it is the ocean. And the creepiest part about it are the creatures that live in its depths. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I found an amazing video that showcases some of the most unique and strange creatures and objects that live in the bottom of our ocean. Have you ever wanted to take a dive into the deepest parts of the ocean? No! Well, today, no. you're gonna have this opportunity. Never wanted now, to! how good are you at holding your breath? Not that good? I'm pretty well, good. Well, not to worry. Hop aboard I can my submersible like craft and join me in the like voyage to the depths. Ready? Oh boy, here we Let's go. Die. Dude, I might get right freaked now, out watching this. Surface, you see that life is thriving here. Fish and marine animals abound, and hey there, swimmers are waving at us. But hey. we won't be staying here for long. Bye -bye. See you, fellas! At 65 feet, there. there's a whole new world opening before your eyes. Oh, we got some normal Shallow fish. Shallow coral reefs are standing scuba beautifully divers. not far from the shore. And hey, there are people here again. It's scuba divers this time, though. I've only been scuba diving once in my life, and I must say it is easily one of the coolest experiences that I've ever done. If you guys have never been scuba diving, I highly, highly recommend it. But uh, make sure there's no sharks in the water, because then you might die. Water pressure isn't kind to divers without special equipment. 130 feet is the depths where we say goodbye even to recreational scuba divers. It's the maximum allowed for them. Take care, guys. Oh boy, 200 so feet. 200 feet is, there's no one that ever goes under 200 feet in the water because of how much pressure there is. I think your entire head would just pop. And here's the first orca. These whales inhabit the relatively shallow waters of almost every sea and ocean in the world. Did you know that they're the apex predators, by the way? I did! It means they have no natural enemies, and no one can take them down. They are pretty much the king of the ocean? Like how lions are king of the jungle? Even though they don't even live in the jungle, that doesn't make any sense at all. What I didn't realize, though, is how deep they go. For some reason, I thought sharks were, like, always near the top of the ocean. So if they're chilling at, like, 200 feet under, shouldn't humans be safe? At 230 feet, we meet whale sharks, Whoa. the largest known fish species, weighing up to 60 tons. And they're also quite long livers. Well, yeah, I guess their livers are long got a big at that. Belly. But actually, it's about their life expectancy. They can live about 130 years. Whoa! Now, look outside. If you're a scuba diver, That's crazy. it's a real pro. Because at 330 feet, they'll have to be very cautious not to get decompression sickness. Wait, so there are scuba divers that are quickly to the surface. And if you're Wait, that is actually insane because you're definitely at the point now where you can't even see the top. I would bet a lot of money that when you're around like almost 400 feet down that you're so deep that the sunlight doesn't get down to you and so you can't even see the surface. How incredibly scary would that be? You're lucky. You can also see oh, a octopus. giant Pacific octopus. Whoa. It dwells in cool water starting this deep that and going crazy. down as far as 6,600 feet. And now... We're what? entering the dark part of the ocean. At 490 feet, just 1% of the light from the surface reaches us. Okay, there All we the go. the rest is absorbed by water. So I was wrong earlier about the light not being there at 400 feet, but he said only 1% of light gets to 500 feet, so I'm sure it's still a very tiny amount of light that gets to 400 feet. Everything that's deeper will get darker and darker still. Oh, look. At oh, about 660 creepy. feet, there's a giant oar fish circling Whoa. our submersible. These creatures are believed to be the source of all sea serpent sightings and also a lot of alliteration. Sometimes they swim up to the surface and freak out sailors and swimmers. No wonder. These fish can reach 36 feet in length. 36 Feet! What? That is actually, that's longer than like any snake, I think, right? Are snakes that long? Let me let me look up what the biggest snake in the world is. The longest snake ever recorded was in Indonesia and is 32 feet long. Enough to scare the heck out of me, for example. Okay, now we're at 980 feet. And wait, what, that what's crab? that huge and gangling thing out there? Oh, I get it. It's a Japanese spider crab. What? Why a spider, you ask? Well, just look at those legs and the Ew. answer will come to you without further prompts. That is By so creepy. By the way, there's almost nothing more to them than legs. The body of such a crab is normally just one and a half feet across. Go I feel like the deeper we get, the weirder it's gonna get. Like that is the weirdest thing that we've seen so far for sure. And it's only gonna get stranger. Going deeper now, and at 1,640 feet, you're going to see the last of the blue whales. No, not really the last of them. I mean, that's the deepest they can swim. They don't that's really need to deep. dive that deep for food, that's which they deep. have in abundance in shallower waters. 
but they still can. I guess it's just for the sake of showing how awesome they are. I'm sure that like that avoids some of their predators as well, you know? Like maybe orcas, actually do they even have predators? I don't know, but maybe like orcas will attack them in groups or something and maybe orcas can't go that deep. And so they just chill down there and they're safe. After all, they're the largest creatures in the history of Earth, both in the sea and on land. Shut up, Blue Whale. You hear this? These are the sounds fin whales are making to talk to their friends many fin miles whale? away. What is a fin whale? They can do this thanks to the SOFAR channel, or deep sea channel, that generally starts at 1,970 feet, but what can vary in depth. I've never heard of that. It's a layer of water where the speed of sound is at its minimum, and sound waves can go thousands of miles before disappearing. What? I did not know that was a thing. So like, you can literally talk to other people thousands of miles away? When you're that deep, I mean, obviously that's never gonna happen. No one is ever gonna be that deep and talk to other people, but some whales are able to communicate with other whales that are thousands of miles away. Thousands of miles. Thousands of miles. It's like sometimes you gotta sit back and think about what that actually means, you know? Because saying it's one thing and then really thinking about it and understanding that a whale can talk to another whale thousands of miles away. Maybe that's why they've never developed technology, you know? Because humans had to develop technology in order to call each other that are thousands of miles away, but they just talk to each other. At the depth of 2,723 feet, we have reached the point where the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, would not even show its tip on the surface if it were put underwater. Hey, let's try that. That is Now crazy. we're entering the really interesting part of the ocean, where no sunlight reaches us and strange creatures dwell. One of those is the giant squid, mm -hmm. yes, that legendary type. It inhabits the depths of 2,950 feet. Just imagine the creature with eyes the size of frisbees. Sperm whales what? hunt down these beasts, the size of but they frisbee? certainly can fight back. What a sight it would be to see such an encounter. Do you guys think the Kraken is actually real? Because those giant squids are completely enormous, like massive. It's shocking how big those things are. And that's where pitch darkness finally falls on us, the midnight zone. The pressure here is so huge that if you somehow end up being here without a submersible, well, you'll simply be crushed in a couple of seconds. And Holy that without smokes. seeing a thing too. Mm, not the best of prospects. Anyway, at 3,600 feet, there's West Mata, one of the deepest ocean volcanoes in the world. Its last oh, eruption was in 2009, and what? it was even filmed by a remotely operated vehicle. There's a volcano 4, in the ocean. 4,200 feet down below. What? And we see the ferocious great white sharks. These ultimate predators feel great at such a depth. They're what? The great white shark lives 4,400 feet under the water? What about the movie Jaws? Have I been lied to my whole life? They must go up and down, right? There's no way that they only live down there because people die to those sharks. What the heck is going on? My whole life is a lie. Their eyesight is rather poor and they navigate by scent, so they really don't need sunlight to hunt down their prey. I don't see you, but I'll still eat you. <laughs> Also, was, the leatherback turtles, the largest weird. turtles in the world, dive at the same depth. I wonder if they do it to tease the great whites. Oh, see those huge nets? That's because we're now at the depth of 4,900 feet, where the catch-all fishing method is used. The nets are here to be dragged along the ocean floor, catching everything unfortunate enough to be caught. I'll let I heard, I don't know how true this is, you guys definitely know better than I do, but I heard that net fishing is so effective that, like, the ocean is losing a ridiculous amount of its population. Like, a lot of fish are going extinct, a lot of them, there's just, like, not that many more fish in the ocean compared to, like, I don't know, 50 years ago, for example. Let you decide how detrimental this is to the ocean life here. At 6,000 feet, if we were in the Grand Canyon, we'd be sitting at its lowest and deepest point. Imagine that all the crevasses have been thoroughly filled with water, and you'll get the perfect picture. Now, if we're really careful, then at the depth of 6,600 okay, feet, really we'll be able to see the black dragonfish, a nightmarish creature that dwells in the deep and dark parts of the ocean. And trust me, it's better off staying right here. What is that? It looks like something from a horror movie. It does. And I'd rather it never cross my path. And it's path. called the dragon. At 7,400 feet, what the we'll heck be was saying that? goodbye to sperm whales. This is the deepest point they can dive, and frankly, they have no real business at such a depth. 
Maybe they hunt the black dragonfish, of course, or it hunts them? Nah, the difference in size is too big. Sperm whales can reach 62 feet in length, which makes them the largest toothed whales in the world. Now, why are they going so deep? It's almost 9,000 feet deep. What even is there to do down there? How many creatures can counter that? It's good that our submersible has a powerful floodlight. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to see the astonishing beauty of the deep-sea coral reefs located at the depth of 9,900 feet. They can be found in every ocean, and it's a pity they Whoa. can't be seen without special deep-sea diving equipment. Oh. Okay, going deeper still. And at 12,100 feet, we reach the average depth of the world ocean. Okay, this is a dumb question. Uh, you guys are way smarter than me, though, which is why I love making these videos, because then I get educated when I read the comments. Can someone please explain to me how there are plants at the bottom of the ocean? Like, how does coral exist? Because my thought is, like, it needs sun! Don't plants need sun? Because of, like, you know, photosynthesis and whatever. So if there's no sunlight getting there, how is it? How does it exist? How does it grow? How does that even make any sense at all? From now on, the journey into the real depths begins. The general ocean floor has been passed. So now it's time to delve into the abyss. Now at 15,000 like feet, that. the monsters Ooh, out of your angler. worst nightmares pop Angler up. fish. Angler fish, for example, I knew will that scare one. the heck out of anyone. I it's that long and crooked teeth, along with a growth on its head that lures the prey, is enough to instill fear even in the bravest. But perhaps even more terrible is the creature called the black swallower. It's an eel-like beast Who named that has that? a very stretchy stomach and it can swallow that. prey that's twice its size. Look down below, How? and you're going to see what? the deepest shipwreck ever found. Pathetic. SS Rio Grande oh. in the South Atlantic sunk in 1941 and went as low as 18,900 feet. I wonder how many fish live in there and like made it their home. How sick would that be? Like they just live in the coolest mansion in ocean history. And for free too. They don't even have to pay rent or taxes. That sounds awesome. No wonder it was only found 55 years later. And now the deepest and darkest part of the ocean begins. We're diving into the Mariana Trench. Officially oh it begins at about 19,700 feet. feet deep. It's both the least explored and the most fascinating area for the scientists and the adventurers alike. What lies at the bottom of it? Well, we're about to see, but while we're not there yet, I'll show you something else. For example, here's the deepest fish ever found. It's called a snailfish, and it dwells at 26,000 feet. Its body is translucent, so you can actually see right through its what? skin. What? Well, I must say I'm glad Whoa! we didn't turn off the lights after all. This little guy is surprisingly cute for a creature that can withstand such pressure. That is the craziest... There's no way that's what it looks like. Hold on. I have to look that up. There's no way that's real. It looks like an axolotl. Look, it looks like... It just looks like an axolotl. Why do they make it look like it's the... Uni oh, wait. Okay, this one kind of looks like it's outer space. But in this, it looks like it's literally outer space. Going lower and deeper. 30, you won't see feet. any other kind of fish or vertebrate animal whatsoever. The pressure is just too much for such creatures. But there are shrimps and other invertebrates, not to mention microbes, that can dwell even in the deepest part of the ocean. And that part is the Challenger Deep. It's the bottom of the Mariana Trench, and its depth is 35,853 oh, feet. Yes, touchdown! we've arrived at the very bottom of the Earth. 35,000 feet. And very little is known about it Wait, yet. people have been there? But scientists aren't going to stop. And there's hope we'll soon find out what secrets the depths of the ocean hold. I don't think I would ever, ever, ever in a million years go that deep into our ocean. That sounds terrifying. I learned so much in today's video. If you guys did or enjoyed it at all, make sure to leave a like and click right here to watch another awesome one.